Okay, we're going to run through this uh, lesson as quick as we can. This is the end result. It depicts a solar eclipse in a stained glass style. It's a great lesson for talking about value, also warm and cool color combinations. It's a cool combination, warm combination. So I'm going to go through the basic steps and what you need. Basically, you're going to want black construction paper, a little masking tape, or something to get a circle stencil color wheel. These are chalk, just regular drawing chalk. And a ruler. Very quickly, you have your students trace the center stencil. Then they're going to use a ruler to create the rays coming off of it. doesn't have to be very precise, but it should go from there all the way to the edge. Got our rays coming off. So when talking about the solar eclipse, talk about how the corona right around it is the brightest, and then it shifts down in value as it goes further away. We're going to be doing the same thing with stained glass here. We're going to divide it up one ray section at a time into smaller pieces, and then we'll be coloring those in. I do a crisscross type pattern. I choose one of the rays and then I start in the middle. Start in the middle of the next one, go down. Okay, after you've done this, this is a good time to talk about the color wheel. You can go from yellow and you can go through the warm colors down through your gradient this way. You can go through it through the cool colors and we're going to be trading off as we do. So I'm going to start with white on this one. I'm going to do warm colors first. I'll go to a, a really bright yellow or bright yellowish orange next. Slowly the value is going to shift down. Okay, and I'll do this once with green so you can see it also. This time I'm going to go opposite crisscross.
Chalk can be pretty messy, so make sure you have the kids roll up their sleeves. Okay. I'm basically going to continue this process again. This time using your warm colors. Warm, cool, warm, cool, warm, cool. After this stage is complete, you can go back through and you can do the glue. This is a combination of Elmer's glue and just uh, black tempera paint mixed together. And you just put it in a glue bottle and squeeze right on the lines to give it the stained glass impression. <laughs> 